Welcome back. Texas Governor Greg Abbott is pledging to pardon Army Sergeant General Perry, who was convicted Friday of murder in the shooting death of a Black Lives Matter protester back in 2020. Perry says he acted in self-defense as protesters surrounded his car while he was driving through downtown Austin. So for more on this, let's go ahead and bring in Leo Terrell, Fox News contributor and civil rights attorney. Leo, the first question I have for you is uh, regarding Governor Abbott's pardoning power. Is it absolute? Essentially, if he says he wants this guy pardoned, it's a done deal? Or does this have to go to the Board of Pardons still and it's more of a request? And thank you for the question, Bill. No, his power is not absolute. He has to wait upon the Board of Pardons to, to make a decision. He can make a recommendation to the Board of Pardons, but the Board of Pardons has to refer it to him, and then he can make a decision. And that's what he's doing. I think he's doing the right thing, Bill. Very simply put, is this. Texas has a stand-your-ground law. And I will submit to you, Bill and Sandra, any person, this person who was killed, had an AK-47 weapon next to this officer's car. And if you had someone with a gun next to you, what would you do? This officer acted in self-defense. Uh, well, certainly his mother um, believes that to be the case. Um, she is pleading for help. Here she is. Listen. An angry mob of Black Lives Matter protesters tried to kill my son, United States Army Sergeant Daniel Perry. And now Daniel is being charged for murder. He was just trying to defend himself. That's obviously a mother who's gone through quite a lot here um, and understandable her emotion, Leo. Oh, Sandra, it's so well said. And I'll tell you right now, again, how often do uh, the Fox viewers, for someone, this Black Lives Matter uh, individual had a weapon. He, uh, Daniel Kelly was in the middle of a crowd in his car. He saw people hitting his car and basically he defended himself. I see that this jury did basically jury nullification, Sandra, because the stand your ground law in Texas allows the use of self-defense. And what you have here, you have a DA who doesn't believe in law and order. He believes in George Soros. How many BLM cases, how many cases of the summer 2020 riots has this this guy prosecuted. He is a George Soros district attorney and the evidence and once the board of pardons make a decision, Governor Ab Abbott has the legal right to pardon this officer. And Leo, some of the witnesses in this trial testified that uh, Garrett Foster did not actually point a weapon at Daniel Perry before the shots were fired. And the Travis County DA, Soros backed, um, he is pouring cold water on Governor Abbott's you know, request for a pardon. Here's what DA Jose Garza, uh, Garza, excuse me, has to say, quote, in this case, a jury of 12 reached the unanimous decision that Daniel Perry did not kill Garrett Foster in self-defense and was guilty of murder. In our legal system, a jury gets to decide whether a defendant is guilty or innocent, not the governor. How do you respond to that? Thank you very much for that question, Bill. I'd like to ha sit down with the DA and go through a list of history court cases. Jury's decisions are not absolute. Jury decisions are reversed all the time. They're modified. They basically make a rule of error of law. So if that DA is sitting here telling the American public that a jury decision is absolutely correct, I need to throw him back in the 1950s and 60s where jury nullification was done over and over in civil rights cases. He is absolutely 100% wrong about that argument. He is a George Soros backed DA. And like I said again, I challenge him to show us how many BLM cases, how many cases cases of rioting and looting in 2020 did he prosecute? Probably zero. And we'll have to see how that pardon process plays out. I don't think the defense has really even appealed yet, um, but obviously more to come on this. Leo Terrell, thank you so much for joining us this afternoon. Thank you, Leo. Thank you, Bill, and thank you, Sandra. All right. Hey, it's Will Kane. Click here to subscribe to the Fox News channel on YouTube. It's the best way to get our latest interviews and highlights. And click to subscribe to the Will Kane podcast for full episodes right now.